you all doing? I hope you're all fine. I am fine too. I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, may God bless you. I really appreciate much for your love and your support. But if you are new here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And here subscribe, click on that notification bell. You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video i am going to be responding to the most asked question yes by you guys because sometimes you ask me questions and you see me quiet maybe you get a feeling bella is ignoring me but i told you guys i will never ignore your questions i will never ignore you because I care for you very, very much and your success is my happiness. So if you see me quiet, just know that I am working on your question. I remember guys, in the past, I did a video and I was talking of the reasons to why you are not finding love on online dating apps. So one of the reasons that I talked about is making you not finding love on online dating apps is not knowing how to use the dating sites or the dating apps that you are active on. And I am very aware that some of you reach a point of giving up on a certain dating app or dating site just because you don't know how to use it. You don't know how to navigate through. So the truth is, yes, I'm a pro when it comes to online dating, online dating apps or dating sites, but it's not that all the dating apps that I recommended to you, I have ever used them all. If I tell you I used them all, I'm going to be a liar. <laughs> and I don't want to be a liar, guys. <laughs> all the information that I always bring to you, I do my research. Because yes, some of the dating apps, I have ever tried them out. I know how to use them. I've got enough experience, but some not. And this takes us to uh, today's video. I've been getting lots of questions on how to use OkCupid. Okay some of you be like, Bella, I decided to give up on OkCupid okay just because they've got lots of questions, just because I don't know how to use it. I don't know even how to start <laughs> when I go on OkCupid. Okay yes, I saw that you uploaded an online dating success love story and the lady found love on OkCupid. Okay I tried to use it, but girl, I am giving up on it. It's so difficult <laughs> to use it. Maybe you help me out. <laughs> so that I can give it a try. But because I have never used OkCupid okay before, yes, the information I gave you, I did my own research. I won't respond to you immediately <laughs> just because I want to look like I know it all. No, guys, I'm going to keep on doing my own research until I get answers to your questions. So due to that, you have been asking a lot about OkCupid. Okay I remember I've done, I think, four online dating success stories of ladies that found love on OkCupid. Okay so there is this good friend of mine who found love on OkCupid okay and we always communicate. So when I kept on getting questions about OkCupid, okay I was like, okay, Bella, you have never used OkCupid okay before. Yes, you did a research on it, but I think someone who used OkCupid okay and found love there will be perfect to answer all these questions about OkCupid. Okay That's when I decided to talk to this good friend of mine who was here recently. <laughs> you know her guys, her name is Leticia. She found love on OkCupid okay and her boyfriend's name is Ian. Ian and Leticia from We Believe in You. I know guys, you who have subscribed to their channel, you're like, but they've got only one video, Bella. <laughs> we don't see them anymore. They will be back very, very soon. Just keep on waiting, guys. And when they upload a video, I'm going to let you all know, okay? So back to our today's video, I talked to Leticia and I requested her to do a video on how to use OkCupid. Okay Cupid answer all 
your questions concerning OkCupid because she has got enough experience using OkCupid. But guys, before I welcome Leticia, I want to say thank you so much, Leticia and Ian, for always being here for us. So welcome, girl. <laughs> Let us get those tips and tricks on how to use OkCupid. Hello everyone, this is your girl Leticia here from We Believe in YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Yes, Bella, my amazing friend, asked me to answer some of your burning most asked questions about OkCupid. And I was like, what a great idea. Yes, I always love sharing my experience to people who want to be inspired you know yeah because i know most of you are navigating in the world of online dating i know it can be overwhelming at times but don't worry i got your back yeah so if you're struggling with okcupid you are in the right place grab a notebook if you want to and let's dive in right now uh so um I'm gonna answer your, answer your questions according to my experience. Yes, I, yeah, because I found love on Ecocupid and I used it for a while. Yeah, so I know how it operates. Yeah, so those who don't know me, I'm Leticia and uh, Bella told about my online successful love story on some of her previous videos. So you can go and check it out and yeah. Uh, so guys, uh, most one of your most asked questions is um, if I didn't pay for OkCupid, am I able to view a profile of someone who paid? The answer is yes. The answer is absolutely yes. I didn't pay for OkCupid, but I was able to view uh, profiles of men who had paid for OkCupid. For example, my boyfriend. Ian, however much he reached out to me first, but often I would reach out to men who had also paid. So uh, if you haven't paid for a cupid, uh, don't worry about that. It doesn't matter whether you paid or not, you can still interact with everyone. So a cupid has no limit to whoever you should chat with. Yeah, um, then, the second question is what is what are the advantages of being on a premium package on OkCupid? So uh, the only advantage that those people who pay for OkCupid that have is uh, they are able to see people who have liked their profile. Yeah, they can see a bunch of people who have liked their profile, uh, which is different to a person who has not paid. So if you have not paid, for a cupid, don't even bother trying to see people have liked your profile because a cupid will ask you to pay, will ask you to pay for premium. Yeah, so uh, that's the advantage of people who have paid that have. And uh, the second advantage is that uh, they have bigger chances of um, getting their matches, you know? Yeah. They, they like they interact with many people compared to people who didn't pay so that is one of the advantages of people i mean that is a, another advantage of people who are on premium on okay keep it yes and uh, another thing another third advantage is that uh people on premium they they see their intros at once what do i mean by intros Intros is a message that someone send you, sends, you, sends you when they like your profile and they send you a message. Um, that is an that is an intro. So for them, they see the intros at once. And for you who did not pay on OkCupid, okay, you see the intros one at a time. So you see the difference. Yeah. Um, but someone, yeah, there are also people who ask. If I don't pay for a cupid, does that mean that I will not find true love? No, the answer is no. It doesn't matter. Like uh, paying for a cupid doesn't guarantee that you'll find true love. 
No, but it increases your chances of finding your perfect match. Yeah, so it depends on your needs. Yeah, if uh, your needs are uh, like uh, being on a premium package, then pay for it. Why not? But if your budget is tight, then try free try the, the try the free version of OkaCupid. But still, there is no guarantee that whoever paid is the one that will find love or who didn't pay is the one that will find love. No, it's not like that. It's about trying your luck. So me, I didn't pay for OkaCupid, but I found to love, you know. So I'm here to tell those people who who are not considering to pay for OkaCupid that you can still find love. Yes. So another question that most of you ask is how do I get more matches on OkCupid? So here is how it works. When you set up your profile, OkCupid gives you a number of questions. Sometimes those questions are between 50 to 100. I know there are very many two questions, but those questions are to help you to know how compatible you are with someone. That is why some, sometimes you find on someone's profile there is 98%, 95%, 75%. And uh, you see your percentage is uh, around like uh, 73, 90, whatever, you know. So that percentage shows how almost you are compatible with someone. Yeah, so those questions help you to increase your matches, to increase, sorry, to increase your chances of finding your perfect match. Yes, yeah, so make sure you answer those questions and make sure you give the right answers. Yeah, so because most of the questions, uh, like example of the questions, they can be like, um, uh, how often do you drink alcohol? Some, some people put occasionally, some people put off, like, um, you know, once in a while. And uh, maybe when you put once in a while, and the other and um, the other guy's profile says um occasionally and uh you know it kind of matches like you know like there are some things that you guys have in common that will increase uh your chances of finding your match your perfect partner you know so guys make sure you answer those questions on OkCupid, they are really helpful. Yeah, so answering questions on OkCupid increases your chances of finding your perfect match on OkCupid. You can still chat with people from all over the world. Me, I never changed my location, but I was able to chat with people from different countries. How do you do that? You see on top, like where they show uh, recommended, uh, online, um, match, passport. So on top of that, if you want, um, like on, on top of your, of your profile, eh, yeah, you'll see there are like these circles eh, where there is a recommended. If you, if I think it's a green circle, if a green circle is in recommended, that means uh, you are chatting with people that OkCupid recommends you to chat with. But your target might not be the people that OkCupid is recommend you, recommending you to chat with. Maybe you want to chat with people from different countries all over the world. So you can go and tap on passports. Yeah, on top of your profile, go and tap on passport. Make sure that green circle is in passport. When, it, when you tap on passport, you'll chat with people from all over the world in different countries. In fact, the way Ian reached out to me, yeah, he told me the way that he reached out to me is uh, he had tapped on passport. So when he tapped on passport, he was able to um, get in touch with me, you know. So and uh, maybe there are people who don't want to, who want to find love online, but from people who are nearby them. So even on top of that profile, you'll find there are... Uh, yeah, you find that that circle of, uh, that shows that that shows people who are nearby. You can tap on people who are nearby, and you still find love. Yes. Yeah, so, guys, I hope this was really really helpful. And uh, if you have more questions, 
you can ask in the comment section below yeah so another question that most of you ask is how am i able to message someone on okcupid i know this is a, a question that is asked by people who have just joined okcupid so here is the answer um when you see someone's profile um make sure you read it first don't just uh, reach out anybody that don't reach out anybody just like that first read their profile understand it ask yourself does this profile match to a man i want if it does and you want to really message that person like their profile don't just like and then swipe to the next person thinking that that person will get back to you sometimes when you just like that person maybe they didn't pay for the app so they won't be able to see you and that will decrease your chances of finding your perfect match yeah so when you come across someone's profile you've read it you found it very interesting what you do uh, if you want to get in touch with them to message them like their profile first when you like their profile uh, you'll see a message button down make sure when you see that message button send them a message but make sure your message is a very good one because when that person has not liked you back yet or has not replied to you you will not see that person yeah so make sure you make you i mean you cannot message them again if you just say hello and you think the next message will be like oh how, i read your profile what what no when you see that person you've liked their profile like their profile then the message button will bring itself write them so hello this and this i'm glad i read your profile it was really interesting what what you know what you want to write you know yeah so then send them send that message but make sure it is a very good one please and uh some of you the reason why you are struggling with finding a perfect match on online dating apps is that uh the way you approach someone doesn't give that doesn't motivate them to to reply you imagine you've sent a message to someone and you said hi hello how are you mm. that is it shows that you're not even serious you don't know what you want but when you say hello and then you you write uh telling them how you read their profile you found it interesting you guys have things in common you would like to know about them if they don't mind it will give them it will give a person that you know that vibe of like wow she read my profile that means she's very observant so how you write your first message really really matters a lot yeah and another question that most people ask is um how can i tell that someone is paying on okcupid my dear with okcupid you can't tell if someone is paying yes the only the only way you will know that someone is not paying those people who say i don't see likes if you want to know about me you can message me that is where someone is trying to tell you that they didn't pay for the app don't just like their profile reach out to them try your chance on them so there is no way you can know if someone is paying on okay keep it and uh, there are those who want to who also asked i think this is the last question the people who ask um how do i know if someone is online on okay keep it uh, so when you're chatting with someone you already see that green dots green dots on their profile yeah or on their picture when you're chatting with them so that means that small green dot it shows that they are active on okcupid yeah so if you see uh if you don't see a green dot or if you see something like a a, a gray dot that means the person is offline yeah so the green dot shows that someone is online yeah so guys i hope this um answers your questions we are really really helpful 
So I hope you found this video really helpful and I hope I answered all your questions. Yeah, so if you have more other questions, you can put them in the comment section below and we shall be glad to answer them. Yeah, so um, I know online dating is really, really complicated sometimes, but don't be hard on yourself. Online dating is an adventure. Get to know, get to know new people, interact with different people. You never know where your luck lies, you know? Yeah, so, and uh, please be patient. Online dating is, uh, is not something you just dive in today and then you, you get success tomorrow, no. Online dating requires understanding and patience. So guys, um, thanks for... Uh, being patient with me and uh, you know <laughs> yeah I'll otherwise thanks Bella for giving me the opportunity always to share my uh, tips to our girls yeah so I wish you success in your online dating ciao bye thank you so much Leticia for those tips and tricks on how to use okay cupid but you know what guys your girl is here to add something to what Leticia said concerning online dating apps especially on the messaging part yes let's talk about this because some of you have been failing a lot here and i am here to rescue you so guys when i did a video about how to use online dating apps for free i remember very well i told you that if a dating app allows you to send messages for free to guys that's a powerful feature <laughs> but the problem here is most of you guys don't know how to send that fast approach you find yourself oh my god making a very wrong wrong fast approach and you discourage these men to even respond to you and if you're here watching this you'll be like so bella how should it be how should i write that fast approach first of all your message should be very very clear it should be brief and sweet yes don't go and start writing you know all about your life in the first message i've been telling you <laughs> that is the first intro you can't just tell a guy everything about you he's gonna get tired he's gonna get bored like going through it all so that is why it is very very important your message to be very brief clear understandable and sweet because every man wants that sweet woman because <laughs> i am very very sure of what i am talking about i've been seeing your comments some of you be like bella i have done everything that you have advised to me but still no man is responding to me but still i'm getting messages from these losers which is not true <laughs> I've gone through lots, lots, lots of profiles of ladies who are on online dating apps. Ladies who came to me, they were like, Bella, it's not working. I've tried all your tips and tricks, <laughs> but still it does not work. So I asked myself, what is going on here? <laughs> I trust my tips and tricks. Why is that they are not working? So, because these ladies had paid for my channel membership, I had to go through their online dating profile to see how they are doing things. And to my surprise, <laughs> I found out, first of all, they're sending messages the wrong way. That first approach is wrong, 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 wrong. Because you start telling a guy where you're coming from, what's your name, the job that you do. So if you start like that, let's take an example. A guy responds to you. He won't have questions to ask you because you have answered all the questions that he had wanted to ask you. So you'll find yourself stuck on that first approach, <laughs> even if he responds. That's why it should be clear, brief, and sweet. And I also remember, guys, going through one of the ladies that said my tips, my tricks are not working <laughs> on online dating app or sites. Me going through her activities on that dating app. <laughs> guys, if you're doing this mistake, do not do it. That is why I'm telling you this. 
So I found out this lady telling a guy that, please go read my profile, go through my profile. I would like to get to know you. You don't do that. You don't ask a guy to go through your profile. He will go through your profile if he is interested. He will go through your profile if he is serious. You don't need to ask him and you don't need to ask a guy, I would like to get to know you. <laughs> That's not how a lady should make the first approach or should talk. You can be like, let's get to know each other. If you don't mind, thank you. But if you sound like, I would like to get to know you, go through my profile, go read my profile. <laughs> no, it will not work. Please, please. And why I say that in most cases, it's not true that my tips and tricks are not working. <laughs> it's because exist ladies who have found love following my tips and tricks. Some of them have been coaching them <laughs> and eventually they found the one. But something else I decided to do after this lady telling me your tips, your tricks are not working. I've been following you for so long. I decided also to make the first approach <laughs> to these guys and see if I'll get any response or oh, it's gonna be the same. After me making that first approach, guys started responding and she was like, oh my God, Bella, <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> so guys, you have to put more efforts. Stop complaining, please, please. And another case, let's take an example. You followed my tips, my tricks on how to make that first approach and yeah, you got it right after writing the first message to a guy that guy responds to you but what most of you have been failing here I've been observing I told you I'm so observant so I have realized that most of you fail a lot on that yes so we take an example you wrote to this guy and luckily he responded to you but what do you do you end the conversation how do you end the conversation I am going to also make an example. We imagine, because this is online dating, okay? <laughs> and these are the things that we always do every day, especially you ladies that are on online dating apps, searching for the one. So this guy responds to you and he's like, hi, Annette, I'm so happy to get your beautiful message. You are very beautiful and I see you are from Kenya or you are from Uganda. How is the weather now? So after seeing that he responded, you come in to answer his question. Thank you so much, Andrew, for the compliment. We imagine his name is Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> the weather here in Kenya or in Uganda, it is hot. You end it like that. Do you know what is going to happen? <laughs> this guy is going to give up. Keeping on chatting with you because nothing is interesting nothing is giving him curiosity to keep on chatting with you. So I know right now you're like Bella, what can we do? <laughs> If this guy asks you a question and then you are to respond, never respond without asking him a question so that the conversation can keep on going. If you don't ask question, you just answer to his question. It's like you are ending the conversation. That is how it works, guys. We are still on how to keep the conversation going. Last time I told you in order for you to increase your chances to be found on online dating apps, you have to send lots of messages in a day to different guys, but they shouldn't reach 50 messages. <laughs> so you decide to send lots of messages in a day. Some respond and some don't respond. So we take an example. Maybe a guy responded to you and you chatted, you know, for a while. You asked each other questions. He responded and you asked again. Then the guy disappears for a while you don't see his reply but this guy comes back maybe after eight hours or nine hours to respond to you so what i have been seeing most of you decide to ignore that guy just because he responded late and you start complaining that he ghosted you you're not ready to keep on chatting with him 
Seriously? Do you really want to find love on online dating apps? This guy you just chatted, let's say four messages. It's not that he is your fiance already <laughs> and people have good things to do. Maybe he was online on his free time, a little free time that he had at that time, then went back to work. So maybe in the evening, he's back home and wants to keep on communicating with you. Then he ghosted me. I don't want to chat with him. <laughs> he's not serious at all. Guys, avoid this mistake. Attaching yourself immediately to a guy when he responds to you. He is your boyfriend already. <laughs> no, guys, you are just getting to know each other. And that is why it has been so easy for these players to hurt you, to make you feel frustrated because you always attach yourself to them without knowing whether he is serious or he is not serious. Take your time to know a guy. Yes, I have seen this. There is a lady who was sitting with a guy and a guy came, responded after eight hours. The lady decided to ignore the guy. So when she came to me complaining that it's not working, I was like, let me take a look on how you do things on your profile. <laughs> so me going through her messages, how she was chatting, I found that there is a guy who responded after eight hours and she ignored the guy. But the guy seemed really, really serious. I came to see all this after a week of her ignoring a guy. But what I decided to do, I said, let me give it a try. Because this guy to me seemed like a serious guy. So what I did, I decided to respond to this guy in a very sweet way. I was like, I'm really sorry. Lots of things came up, but I would like to keep on chatting with you. Let me hope I still stand a chance. <laughs> and yes, guys, because this guy was really interested in that lady, he responded. And as I'm talking right now, the update that I have, they are still communicating. He did not disappear. So guys, let's really be serious. So guys, we have got another case here on how to keep the conversation going where you guys have been failing. So you are on online dating apps, then you receive a message from a guy, you respond to him, the conversation flows that day. Both of you enjoy talking to each other or exchanging messages, meaning you are both interested in each other. So we take an example, that day is Friday. And the day ends, you tell the guy good night, good night. You sleep happy and he sleeps happy, you know, hoping to hear from each other the next day. So you wake up, you don't find any message from this guy. And on his side, maybe he slept till midday because it is weekend. But waking up at that time, the first thing he does is to look at his phone to see if he will find your good morning message and he doesn't find any message. So on your side, you start giving this guy names. <laughs> he is a player, he was playing mind games with me, he's just a time waster. But on his side, the impression he's gonna get is that I'm the one who approached this lady at first. And the way she responded to me, it's like she was interested in me. Maybe she did not like me. <laughs> <laughs> that is why she decided to keep on chatting with other guys or online dating apps. So here, guys, there is a big chance that this guy will keep on his search. He won't come back to you because it's like you are not interested to get to know him. If you were interested, you could have looked for him the first thing in the morning. <laughs> to show him that I had a very great conversation yesterday, I would like us to keep on getting to know each other. So don't chat with a guy and expect this guy to be the one keeping on checking on you every single morning. <laughs> you also need to play your own part. It's not that you start stalking this guy, no, but play your part. You have to show the guy that you are really interested and you would like you guys to keep getting to know each other. And I know some of you, my sisters, are here saying that I am the queen, he has to chase me. <laughs> I'll never chase a guy. You are not chasing this guy. You are simply showing the guy that I am available. I am interested in you. <laughs> 
just like the way you showed me yesterday you were interested in me and get to see his response if he responds to you badly or he does not respond at all don't worry keep on with your search but you did the right thing so guys i am still on how to keep the conversation going the message part we take an example, you are interested in interracial dating and then you receive a message on online dating apps from a white guy. Where you guys go wrong is when you start panicking, you start sweating and be like, what am I going to respond to this white guy? You want to look perfect or appear perfect to this white guy. I told you guys, a white man is just a man, just like any other man of any color. No need to panic. When you try to impress this guy, want to look perfect <laughs> on how you respond, he's gonna think maybe it's a fake profile. He is chatting maybe with a fellow guy, or he will think hmm, maybe this lady is not all that interested. That is why she's taking so long to respond to me. So he's gonna find you very boring and eventually he will stop writing to you. So what I'm advising you here, no need to panic, no need to tremble or start sweating. <laughs> <laughs> no, just be calm. Imagine you are having a conversation with someone interesting, a new friend, someone that might be your husband in the future. So be free, be you, ask questions as long as you are not disrespecting him. You're asking no more questions of getting to know each other. Everything is gonna be fine. You don't need to go and Google the answers. <laughs> the conversation or your response has to come naturally. And when it is natural, that is when a guy gets to understand you more, find you very interesting, and get that curiosity of getting to know you. And dear sister, the truth is, no man wants to date a lady who does not believe in herself. <laughs> You're not confident enough. No man wants to date a lady who is insecure. Yes, some of you say, I am shy. Yes, I know some guys, some <laughs> would like to date a lady who is shy, but to some extent, because they find that very exciting. They find it really, really good and so feminine, but it shouldn't be too much <laughs> you are shy to an extent when a guy asks you for a video call yes you accept but when you start talking you don't talk <laughs> or you talk without confidence which is really really wrong guys <laughs> you'll find this guy disappearing <laughs> He's gonna ghost you without telling you what is the problem. So if you know you have got that weakness, please dear sister, I don't know you, you know yourself, work on that. And I also know exist ladies who always criticize themselves on everything. Oh my God, my English is not good. I don't know if I'll be able to find a white guy. <laughs> my English should be very perfect. <laughs> I am this, I am that. Even one time there is a lady who reached out to me. I talked to her and she was like, Bella, um, I've gained lots of weight. So I first need to lose some weight and then I'll come to online dating apps. <laughs> I was like, girl, you first need to work on yourself. You have to keep on loving yourself no matter how your body changes yes you don't need to go do workouts just because you want to appear slim <laughs> on your online dating photos <laughs> yeah and people who always feel like oh my god i've gained lots of weight oh my god i look ugly <laughs> even if they lose weight they will still see imperfections in them <laughs> Yeah, so probably this lady will never ever join online dating apps. Trust me, she has to first work on herself. You have to first love yourself. <laughs> no matter you are size small, medium or large. So those, my English is really, really bad. Not all white men speaks perfect English. <laughs> Cause not all European countries 
have got English as their first language. Not at all. So you'll find some white guys not knowing English at all. The English that you know is even better than them. But do these white guys stop from there and be like, I don't know how to speak English, so I'm not gonna look for a black African woman? No. To join those dating apps, they will try their best, the little English that they have, <laughs> to talk to you and later you use Google go translator <laughs> or learn each other's languages learn to communicate so that you can understand each other because i've seen lots of success stories of guys who didn't know how to speak good english <laughs> <laughs> but now they are married so that's not a problem <laughs> guys for example my husband he doesn't speak that good english perfect if i bring him here <laughs> to talk to you yes he will talk to you but not that perfect english that you would expect in a white guy because in italy the first language is italian <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't care about English. <laughs> <laughs> so why should you self-criticize that I don't know good English and you're chatting with an Italian guy or you're chatting with a Polish guy or you're chatting with a German guy <laughs> whereby their first language is German or Polish. <laughs> yeah. So if you find yourself chatting with an English guy, a British guy, English is their language. <laughs> what you need to do, be you, be open, you know? <laughs> so the guy, pardon me, my English is not all that perfect because English is not our first language. So where you don't understand, you can still ask me, I'll come again. And from there, trust me, he will have questions to ask you concerning your language and maybe he will be his teacher. <laughs> Because if this guy is really interested in you, he'll also be interested in knowing your language. So guys, stop criticizing yourself on not knowing the perfect English or you did not go to the university. That is why you won't be able to find the one. Stop it, please, because that's not the case. So guys, don't limit yourself from trying out these online dating apps. Don't limit yourself not approaching a guy. Be, be like, I'm very shy, I'm very embarrassed to approach a guy. No. <laughs> Try it all. I remember one day I was helping a lady on online dating apps and then I came across a profile of a white guy. She was interested in interracial dating. So this white guy's profile, he was complaining a bit having a very bad experience with West African ladies. And the lady that I was hoping was from Nigeria. So when I went through his profile, I was like, let me give it a try. Send him a message. I sent a message to him and guess what guys? And he replied, but on this lady's profile, she did not indicate that she is from Nigeria. So this guy didn't know where the lady was coming from. So after chatting for a while, he asked, where do you come from? <laughs> and I was like, I am from Nigeria. Let me hope you will not run. <laughs> He laughed really, really hard. He was like, why? I told him I went through your profile and I saw that you had very bad experience with West African ladies and I am from Nigeria. The guy was like, no, 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 no. I don't judge people like that. I'm not going to run. <laughs> so we really chatted and we had a very great conversation. <laughs> so ladies, you should be you. Be you. Don't get scared of these people. They're just human beings so there are those ladies who always be like i'm on okay cupid but i can't see who liked me <laughs> girl you are using a free version don't pretend to want to be given all features for free these people are doing business that's how they run their business <laughs> so when you are given free features please use those effectively have been given a message feature for free then know how to make that first approach, you know, send that first message, know how to keep the conversation going, just like in the tips that I gave you. So friends, I have lots of tips to give to you, but for today, let us end it here. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really appreciate. May God bless you. Please give this video a thumbs up. 
if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video watch my other videos too they are really really good if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao